Welcome back, value investors. Today's market went up again, second consecutive day that the market's gone up. And on Tuesday, it was down significantly. I thought it was going to begin a very strong pullback, but I was wrong. The, the bulls have really taken over this week and are raging, and the market is moving higher. It's pretty incredible. There's some factors, I think, that are weighing in on the market going higher. I still believe we are really setting up for a strong pullback. There's just no way around it. I'm not a pessimist. Uh, if anything, I'm a realist. It's just we've been in five months of an upward market, and we're in the middle of about a 16 to 18 month bull run that is that has just been great. It is really fun to see stock prices rise and rise, but it's not natural for it to just go up and to the right. We need to have a pullback based on uh, really valuations of companies, sentiment, some bad news, maybe some hype, some air being you know let out of the the, the bubble, so to speak. I'd like to go through some data, share that with you, and then share my conclusions on where, where I think the market's going to go. And I hope you find it interesting. Looking at the last five days, you could see that on Tuesday, the markets all went down. They went down a lot, but they really recovered. They recovered some of the losses yesterday, and they kept rallying up. The S&P is up 1% for the last five days. NASDAQ's up 0.85%. The Dow is lagging down about 24%, and the Russell is outperforming them all. The small mid-cap stocks, it, it rallied 1.46%. Again, I expect that there's going to be a strong pullback, mainly because the market's just been running up higher and higher. For example, here's the last 12 months of trading. The S&P is up 29%, which is great. Love seeing my stock prices go up. The NASDAQ is just on a tear, up 40%. The Dow's up 18%, and the Russell is lagging at 10.9%. So for the S&P to have a run rate of 29% is fun while it lasts, but it's not going to last. It's just impossible to see valuations of stocks just continue to go up. And that's the reason for my sentiment, which is we need one of these pullbacks. For example, in the September to October timeframe, we had this pullback within the last 12 months. We even had this smaller pullback in the summertime, late summertime. And that's what I'm talking about. I still think the economy is good. I still think that overall, you know, stocks are the place to be in the long term. It's just when you look at a chart, and I'm going to follow the S&P, really since it had a, a pullback in 2023, it has been going up and to the right. That's just not normal. We need a pullback just so that we can relieve some of the run-ups on certain stocks like NVIDIA and all the semiconductor stocks as well as other asset classes that are just going berserk. Looking at the sectors and how they perform today, the number one sector today was information technology, followed by communication services. I know Meta was up a lot today, as well as Netflix. Materials did really well, and the S&P was up as well. So just about all the different sectors participated, except for financials and real estate. Over the year to date, you can see that information technology is just on a tear. Communication services is doing great. Industrials are doing well. Healthcare is really doing well. And financials are doing well year to date. So across the board, just investors are coming in and buying stocks and really driving up prices. It is a lot of fun to watch my portfolio just jump in value every day. I just continue to brace myself for a solid pullback and I'm getting my capital ready to buy into a good solid pullback. There's news that I expect in the next week and a half that could really move the markets. To begin with, there's some bad news that we are at all time highs. And every time you hear a new 52 week high, you know, and it's across the board, many different stocks, but especially semiconductor, I have to think that investors are taking money off the table. Second, cryptocurrencies are surging. Uh, crypto, the Bitcoin uh, set an all time record this past week. And they're really surging, which shows that, hey, there's there's just a lot of energy to buy. Not rationally, not based on valuations, just people want to buy and they want to invest. And to me, that's bad news. This proliferation of all-time highs, cryptocurrency uh, surging, to me, that's that's a bad sign that, hey, we're, we're coming up on a really nice pullback that I would expect. Good news, the Federal Reserve Chair has spent the last two days on Capitol Hill and I didn't listen to all of it. I don't have two days to listen to all the testimony. But I did look at the highlights and how he engaged with all these politicians. And I would say that he had a lot of positive talk, positive talk on the economy, positive talk on the 
expected move on interest rates that, you know, he doesn't want to force a recession. So he's probably going to move interest rates and lower them. That positive talk also included, he talked about the fact that they do have a control on inflation. So all of that may be driving this market that the Federal Reserve sees a pretty optimistic outlook for the economy, for interest rates, and for uh, inflation, which is all good news for stocks. The stock market surprised me this week, and it's not the first time, and it won't be the last time. It was very interesting how stocks have really risen uh, for two days in a row, and it'll be interesting to see what they'll do tomorrow and what they'll do next week. I, again, I'm bracing for the pullback just mainly because my experience has taught me that we really should have just a solid pullback just to relieve some of the uh, high 52-week high uh, momentum. I mean, at what point does it get completely ridiculous on some of these valuations? So I'm still expecting that pullback. We'll see what happens. It certainly is fun to see stock prices really rise. It really is fun to see my portfolio update every evening and see you know, how much my portfolio gained in a day. It's always you know, funner to watch positive numbers, especially big positive numbers, versus watching my portfolio go down in value. I hope you found the video interesting. Thanks for watching.